existing we do only for total number of equities it is in rupees that's why we are dividing if it is in numbers we have to multiply if you want to find out total number of equities you have to go for the 10 lakh in the form of 11% preferences A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session four of your topic called Financial Management. And under Financial Management, we are discussing capital structure. Now, under capital structure, we did one or two problems. Those are little simple one. And today we go with the exact your question paper problem now so we will understand meaning concept as well as we'll do problems now your problems are very simple like wipro limited wipro limited contemplates to invest rupees 20 lakh on a project for the expansion so how much they want to invest 20 lakh your complete problem is based on 20 lakh now on a project for the expansion, the present capital structure consists of 10 lakh in the form. This is an existing one. This is called existing. Existing we do only for total number of equities. If you want to find out total number of equities, you have to go for that. Now, equity divided into 100 rupees each. 10 lakh already you have of 100 rupees each. So we have three alternatives to get this 20 lakh. Our complete problem is based on 20 lakh. Now, first one, 10 lakh in the form of equities remaining in the form of debenture. How much we needed? 20 lakh. Now, 10 lakh in the form of equity, 10 lakh in the form of debenture. Hope you are clear. Yes, then rupees 5 lakh in the form of equities, 5 lakh in the form of debenture, like 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of debenture, and remaining preferences 5 plus 5, 10. What is the balance? 10. This will be your preference shares. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, this is done. And the last one, last one will go. 10 lakh in the form of preferences and remaining 10 lakh in the form of debenture. 10 lakh in the preferences and remaining 10 lakh in the form of debenture. Hope you're clear with this. Clear? Yes. Now, so EBIT is rupees 7 lakh and the tax rate is 30 percent. What is the EBIT we have? 7 lakh. What is the tax rate we have? 30%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now we'll go with the answer. Before that, we'll write down the options actually. Now, the first one. First one, option one. So in this, I'll write down. First one, option one, we have 10 lakh in the form of equity remaining in the form of debenture. This is option one. Option two, option option 1, option 2 and option 3. Hope you are clear. Now, I will write out the calculation in this. 10 lakh in the form of equity remaining in the form of debenture. Debenture what percent? 9 percent. 10 lakh in the form of equity then 10 lakh in the form of 9% debenture. Hope you are clear. Yes, second one. 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of debenture, 9%. 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of 9% debenture, and 10 lakh in the form of preferences. What is the percentage? The percentage is 11%. Percent. Now it is 11 percent. Last one 10 lakh in the form of preferences 11 percent, 
टेन लैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इलेवन परसेंट प्रेफरेंसेस एंड टेन लैक एट नाइन परसेंट डिवेंचर्स टेन लैक एट नाइन परसेंट डिवेंचर होप यू आर क्लियर टेन लैक इक्वली टेन लैक नाइन परसेंट डिवेंचर फाइव लैक इक्वली फाइव लैक नाइन परसेंट डिवेंचर टेन लैक इट इज इलेवन परसेंट प्रेफरेंसेस नाउ we done with this calculation now option 1 option 2 and option 3 now we'll go one by one what is the first one the first one is ebit first one is ebit hope you are clear yes what is your ebit your ebit is Seven lakh. See, they have given EBIT rupees seven lakh. So seven lakh, seven lakh, and seven lakh. Seven lakh, seven lakh, and seven lakh is your EBIT. Hope you are clear. Yes. After that, minus interest. Interest calculated for what? Only for debenture holders. Now, you have debentures. Yes, ten lakh into nine percent. Ten lakh into nine percent. So I'll calculate. You will get ninety thousand. Ten lakh into nine percent. I got ninety thousand. Similarly, we have seven lakh. Debenture is over. Again, we have one more debenture. Five lakh into nine percent. Five lakh into nine percent. It is forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand. Next, and the last one, one more debenture. Ten lakh into nine percent. It will be same. It will be ninety thousand. Now I'll calculate this five lakh into nine percent. Hope you are done with interest portion. Now from seven lakh we are supposed to minus. From seven lakh we are supposed to minus. From seven lakh we are supposed to minus. Seven lakh minus ninety thousand. Six lakh ten thousand. This will be. Your six lakh fifty five, seven lakh minus forty five thousand. I get six lakh fifty five. Then it will be six lakh ten thousand. Six lakh ten thousand. Any doubt? No doubt. Now up to this we have completed. Now what is the next one? This is called E B T. Now minus taxation. Taxation at what percentage? Taxation it is given. It is thirty percent is taxation. Now taxation at thirty percent. Now six lakh ten thousand into thirty percent. I got one lakh eighty-three. One lakh eighty-three thousand. Six lakh fifty-five thousand into thirty percent. I got one lakh ninety-six five hundred. Six lakh ten thousand into thirty. It is already calculated. One lakh eighty-three thousand. Now, so you get profit or income after tax. How much you will get? Six lakh ten thousand minus one eighty three. I got four lakh twenty seven. Four lakh twenty seven thousand six fifty five minus one ninety six five hundred. I got four lakh fifty eight five hundred. Four lakh fifty eight five hundred. Then six lakh ten thousand minus one lakh eighty three thousand. I got. Four lakh twenty-seven thousand. 
Hope you are clear. Yes. This will be 427, 458 and 427. This is what? Income after tax are income available to preference as well as equal shareholder. Now, once if it is done, we'll go to next step. Less dividend. Less dividend. Now, dividend should be calculated on preference shares. Now, we have preference shares? No. Do we have preference shares? Yes. 10 lakh into 11 percent. 10 lakh into 11 percent. And one more. First option is nil. Last option we have 10 lakh into 11 percent. Same thing. Now as per this 10 lakh into 11 percent. 10 lakh into 11 percent. I got 1 lakh 10 thousand. 1 lakh 10 thousand. 1 lakh 10 thousand. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now so we have to minus this. Now if you go back. You have 4 lakh 27 thousand minus. So it will be remain same 4 lakh 27 thousand. The previous one you have 4 lakh 58 500, 4 lakh 58 500 minus we have 1 lakh 10 thousand. It is 3 lakh 48 500. 3 lakh 48 thousand 500. And the last one. We have 4 lakh 27 thousand minus 1 lakh 10 thousand. So we get 3 lakh 17 thousand. 3 lakh 17 thousand. Hope you are clear. Clear? Yes. Now 4 lakh 27, 3 lakh 48 500 and 3 lakh 17 thousand. Now this will be earning available to equity share holder earning available to equity shareholder hope you are clear yes now so this earning available to equity shareholder 427 4, 4, 348 and 3,17,000 now this what we are supposed to do, we have to find out earning per share. Earning per share is equal to same earning available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity shares. Now earning is 4 lakh 27 thousand, 3 lakh 48 500 and 3 lakh 17 thousand i'll cross check once i'll cross check once now 7 lakh minus interest it has become 6 lakh 10 thousand minus your taxation 1 lakh 83 i got 427 and final answer 427 and the second one we have eb 7 lakh we have interest also and we have taxation it is done you got 4 lakh 58 minus dividend you will get 3 lakh 48 similarly 7 lakh minus 90,000 6 lakh 10 minus your taxation you got 4 lakh 27 minus 1 lakh 10,000 it has become 3 lakh 17,000 hope you are clear yes in this also we have 10 lakh preferences this also we have 10 lakh preferences now Number of equity shareholders we are supposed to find out. How to find out? Just mention that working note. In this, so we'll go for your calculation. Equity shareholder. Number of equity shareholder. Now, in this, we have existing and we have new existing and new now under existing 
what you have like you have share capital consists of 10 lakh of rupees 100 each then it will be 10 lakh 100 each it is in rupees that's why we are dividing if it is in numbers we have to multiply 10 lakh if you cancel two zeros it will become 10,000 10,000 option 1 option 2 option 3 10,000 and 10,000 hope you are clear yes new shares it will be how much in the first option 10 lakh equal shares means 10 lakh divided by 100 it will be 10,000 shares 10 lakh divided by 100 you will get 10,000 shares option 2 we have 5 lakh equity then 5 lakh divided by 100 you will get 5000 equity in the third option we don't have equity only now what is the total the total is 20000 the total is 15000 the total is 10000 one two three hope you are clear yes now we'll go for 20000 here and we go for 15000 and 10000 15000 and 10000 so what will be your answer 4 lakh 27000 divided by 20000 i got 21.35 21.35 then 3 lakh 48 500 divided by 15000 i got 23.23 23.23 and we have 3 lakh 17000 divided by 10000 i got 31.7 see 21.35 23.23 31.7 which is higher your option 3 is better option 3 has to be accepted why because earning per share is more compared to other options clear yes so i'll go out of the screen please take screenshot your problem the solution part 1 solution part 2 your working note yes this is all about your today's session hope you understood how to do your capital structure with adjustment like this you will get your problems in your examination all the best